back to another vlog. I'm just getting ready to head out for a run this morning. I was gonna go on an outdoor run because I definitely prefer to run outside instead of on the treadmill. I find that it's much better on my knees and I just love like the fresh air and everything, but it's about to rain and I can definitely tell like the clouds are so dark, it's so gloomy. It's been a very cozy, gloomy morning, which I'm all about. But I'm like, I'm gonna play it safe and just run on the treadmill in my apartment gym because I don't wanna be caught in the rain. So probably gonna go for like 30 or 45 minutes, somewhere in that time range. I find that for me personally because I am not a runner. I do not proclaim myself as a runner, but because it is like getting so much cooler here in Florida and I find that this time of year, like when we're in the fall and the winter, this is when I enjoy going for runs. And it's been super fun for me recently, just getting outside like two or three times a week for my runs in the morning. And it has really helped switch up my routine because for so long I was just in this like, hamster wheel of a routine, not only with my fitness, but just in every aspect of my life. And honestly, it was leading to the point of burnout. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to switch some things up. So I've switched up my fitness routine. You guys know I've been really enjoying my heated yoga sculpt classes. So I've kept going to those like two or three times throughout the week. And then I've been going for runs like two times a week and just getting some cardio in that way. And then I've actually been working with a personal trainer. So still doing strength training, but not lifting like as heavy or as consistently as I was doing before. It was crazy that I used to lift in the gym five times a week. I'm like, how the heck did I do that? But all that to say, I'm gonna go head on down for my run right now and probably just do 30 minutes. I do have a heated yoga sculpt class a little bit later this afternoon. So we'll head out to that at about five. But like I said, I've just been enjoying it, getting some cardio in like two or three times throughout the week. And instead of telling myself I'm gonna run three miles or I'm gonna run four miles, four miles to me personally is a lot. Usually I'll do like anywhere between it, two and a half to three and a half. But instead of giving myself like a certain distance, I find that setting a duration like 20 minutes or 30 minutes helps me accomplish a lot more than a certain distance would. Again, it's just like a mental thing. So if you're starting your running journey or you want to get into running, I would definitely recommend that approach instead it has helped me out so much I'm just packing up a bag to head out to the coffee shop because it's one of those days where I know if I keep working from home I'm just gonna gradually keep making myself more and more tired Since it's a big editing day for me and I'm pretty much just staring at my laptop all day or my phone screen And I was working from my couch and I'm like I'm getting so tired right now If I close my eyes, I will end up taking like an hour long nap So we're gonna go out and about head over to Willows. It's one of my favorite coffee shops in Tampa Probably get myself a nice matcha. Last time I went, they were out of matcha. So I'm hoping that they have some right now. And I'm also gonna bring Frankie because we can work from the patio. So it'll be nice to get some fresh air, work outside and have a good productive next couple hours. I also just made myself some ginger turmeric tea. This is my favorite, it's so good. It's only about 9.15 right now. And honestly, it feels like it should be midnight. I'm like totally not getting used to this time change at all. Like I got out of my yoga sculpt class, it was 6.45 and it was completely dark as ever out. And I thought, you know what? It feels like I should be cozied up in my bed, ready to fall asleep right now, but no, I still have to go home make dinner, shower, do my skincare, like all the things. And it's just a good reminder too though, like heading into the winter months, even though these days feel shorter, it's extra important to just like pour into yourself and do those little things that make you feel so good and just like 10% better. Because I remember when I was um, living in Minnesota, I lived in Minnesota for like 
22 years of my life before I moved down to Florida and I would get the winter blues so bad just like the shorter days the colder months and I didn't really feel inspired to stick to my routine and like do things that genuinely made me feel so good and it wasn't until like maybe the last two years of me living there that I really was intentional with the different things that I did day to day and the habits and those little things that generally made me feel so good especially in the winter time when it's hard to find that motivation and I really had to like dig deep for the motivation to create a routine for myself create like fitness plan for myself going to the gym and like just those little self-care things and that's why I really emphasize um, romanticizing your daily routine and your daily habits because even though it's the winter and maybe you don't want to go outside or you don't really want to go to the gym or do whatever it is that like makes you feel good or like go out to a coffee shop because it's cold and it's snowy and whatever it is um, just finding ways to really romanticize like the daily habits in your routine for example making yourself a really good breakfast or switching up a breakfast you make you could even like just slow down in the morning and give yourself time to journal while you drink your coffee or read while you have your coffee instead of rushing throughout your morning and drinking your coffee while you're also doing your makeup and like multitasking and doing all these different things i have found that personally for me when i just started slowing down and being more intentional about my habits that i do every single day it has allowed me to just like again slow down and really be more intentional with what I'm doing and like what is filling my cup and what makes me feel so good and that also goes like um, along with who you're surrounding yourself with and what you're filling your day with I think the winter time is a great time to reconnect and just like become more intentional with what you're doing and who you are like becoming and I think it's really good to take that time to reflect and then you head into the new year or you head into the springtime like feeling so rejuvenated and refreshed so I love that and that ties back to like me really not wanting to go to this yoga sculpt class once it got towards the end of the day I'm like oh my gosh I just want to cozy up and lay on my couch for the rest of the evening but I still have to like go to my yoga sculpt class whatever and it was like rainy there were just so many things of me wanting to not go and not show up but I'm like I'm gonna show up for myself not because um, it's just like consistent but I know I'm gonna feel so 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 good after this class and it's always the times that you don't want to go where it ends up like making you feel incredible after and you know that you need it more than you think you do so i'm really happy that i ended up going and just really think about showing up for yourself this winter season and like like i said just doing little things to romanticize your daily routine whatever that may look like for you for me personally it's a lot of like my morning habits so romanticizing my daily walks in the morning romanticizing the coffee that i have in the morning and like enjoying a book while I'm having my coffee or journaling while I'm drinking my coffee and just like being more intentional about those really small minuscule habits has made me like a much more better version of myself and it's also given me the time and energy to slow down and like really pour into myself as well so it's a little TED talk for you guys but I just wanted to share that because truly it has made like such a great difference in my life and also mentally has really helped me and I've absolutely loved just like romanticizing little things i think that's truly what life is really about at the end of the day so anyways i'm gonna read my book right now this is the current book that i've been reading it's so good yours truly by abby Jimenez. i cannot say enough good things about it so i'm gonna drink my tea read my book and then head to bed head down for my workout this morning we've got an upper lower pull day today and I believe this is actually the last week of these workouts that I'm doing cycle two begins next week so today we've got like I said upper lower pull so I'm gonna be doing or warming up doing 12 through 30 as usual and then I've got barbell hip thrust dumbbell bench one arm rows um, hamstring curls wide lat pull downs and then a finisher this is what i do all of my personal training on so i'm gonna get that workout done with today this is train well and i've been really enjoying working with a personal trainer it has just helped me like piece together different exercises for different goals that i have like 
you know, increasing my back strength or learning push and pull days and creating like a split that works best for me and my routine. And I've really, really been enjoying it. And like I said, it really helped like switch up my fitness routine because like a month or so ago, I was in such a rut of the exercises and the split that I was currently doing. So switching it up and doing like workout classes about one or two times throughout the week has been great and like getting into strength training again but not overloading my body because I found that I was really stressing my body out and it was just doing the opposite of what I wanted it to do, like the opposite effect. So it feels really good to just be back on track with that sort of thing and feel re-inspired in the gym. Now that I'm back from the gym, I'm gonna sit down and get some work done for a couple hours. It's gonna be a pretty work heavy rest of the afternoon, lots of filming and editing to take care of, which I think I wanna take care of filming first just because we have a limited daylight to work with these days. So I try to get any filming that I have to do for the day um, done within the beginning half of the day. And since I have like three or four hours of editing, we'll take care of that at the end. And also I just wanted to wear some comfy clothes while I sit at my laptop and edit for a bit. But I just made myself some breakfast and I wanted to show you guys something that I like to take after my breakfast in the morning. This isn't something that I take every single day, but if I'm having more of like a protein heavy and fiber filled meal, something that's like harder for my body to digest, I swear by the Ray Bloat capsules. These are my favorite supplement to have um, when I'm feeling very bloated. They are amazing. I actually discovered this Ray brand on Instagram. I was seeing them everywhere and I'm like, I need to try it for myself. So I ordered a few things. I fell in love with their tribiotic and I fell in love with the blow capsule. I also love to take this with me as I travel because if you are anything like me and you get bloated while you travel, it is the most uncomfortable feeling ever. And it just puts a little damper on the vacation, you know? And without getting too TMI, you just, you feel a little clogged up, a little constipated. This stuff helps relieve it. It's a fast acting digestive supportive capsule and I'll just take two to three of these capsules. And I love that each capsule has a blend of five herbs and one fruit digestive enzyme. So it's really going to target that bloating and prevents gas. It also helps reduce heartburn and just any possible cause of the bloating. So it works very fast, which I love. And just makes you feel relieved. Like if you know, you know. So I absolutely love these and I just love this array brand in general because all their supplements are 100% natural with real results, which is amazing. So if you guys want to check out array or any of their other supplements, I'll leave a link down below for you guys and you can save 15% on your order. That also applies to subscriptions as well. So if you don't want to have to re-up and just have it automatically delivered to your door every single month, you can use my code LaurenS15 and that also saves you 15% off on the subscriptions as well as your order if you just want to try out some new supplements and all of that. So everything will be in the description box for you guys. massive pile of clean laundry that I need to go through fold and hang up so I'm gonna take care of all of that right now before I get ready for my plans tonight and just clean up and tidy my apartment a little bit Show you guys i painted my nails earlier because i filmed an entire get ready with me style video for youtube which i haven't done like a chit chat get ready with me updated makeup routine style video in forever i think the last time was maybe 
three or four years ago so it's definitely been a while but it was so much fun and i wanted to paint my nails before because i had nothing on them before um but i just do my natural nails and i use dazzle dry it's truly the greatest thing ever this is not sponsored in any sort of way i have worked with them on instagram and tiktok before but i love it because i can paint my nails in 15 minutes and they dry within five minutes so super nice and they last like two weeks with little to no chipping so I absolutely love these. I went with this hot pink color, which I know is not very fall, but I just love a good hot pink nail. And I found that it has saved me so much money and has been a lot less upkeep with going to the nail salon and getting my nails done, all of that. It's like one of those things that I don't love to do. So being able to paint my nails within 15 minutes and have them dry in that time, I absolutely love. So it just comes with this like little mini kit. And then I got these set of colors. So I just went with this color right here. I don't know the exact name, but I can like link it for you guys if you wanna get these nails because they're truly the best. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to today. Speaking of filming like an updated makeup routine, I did go to Sephora the other day, picked up some goodies during the Sephora sale because how can I not, how can I not? So I'm gonna go grab those. They're still in my car and then I'll show you guys a little Sephora haul. I really did quite the restock and stock up, so we'll get into everything. First, I'll go through some of my restocks and just ride or die favorites. The first one is the Gisu Honey Fused Hair Oil. I freaking love this stuff. I've probably gone through three of these glass bottles already. It's just like the best hair oil. It leaves my hair so silky, so shiny. It's one of those products that I've generally noticed a huge difference ever since using it, and it just leaves my hair looking so soft and luscious. I freaking love it. Then I got two lip product restocks. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Obsessed with these. I have them in so many different shades. I actually don't have this shade yet is the hot cocoa one which it definitely looks a lot deeper brown than it actually appears it's more of like a sheer color so i love this for like an everyday nice like light lip color and then of course the laneige lip sleeping mask this is always a restock i've gone through plenty of these and i wanted to get the candy cane flavor for the holiday season now we'll get into some of the newer products that i'll be trying we'll start with hair care i've been in like a big hair care kick recently so i just got the whey hair and body mist i'm a big fan of whey products I use their leave-in conditioner and I've used it for years on it and I've probably repurchased the leave-in conditioner like four or five times. So this time around, I'm like, I'm gonna switch it up, try something new. This is the Day Leave-In Conditioner. I love Day products so much. Again, all the stuff that they have smell absolutely incredible and it's such a nice brand too. I love their three-in-one styling cream. I use that all the time when I do like my slick back ponytails, slick back buns, so very excited to try this. And then last couple things I purchased are both makeup products. I've been super into doing my makeup recently, like taking the time with doing it, trying new products and all of that. And I actually tried a sample of this House Labs foundation from Lady Gaga a couple weeks ago at Sephora. Fell in love with the way that it made my skin look, how it felt. It was so lightweight, but also a medium coverage. And nothing has ever made my skin look as flawless as this. So very excited that they finally had my shade in stock. Like every time I went to Sephora, I was gonna get this like weeks ago because I loved it that much after sampling it, but they were always out of my shade. So finally they had it in stock and I cannot wait to dive into it and use this. And then last thing was the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. Simply was influenced by a girl that I saw on TikTok use this. She put it on um, her blush and her bronzer after doing her makeup and it gave the most beautiful like sheen and glow to her skin and it wasn't until after she used this that it was just like instantly illuminated so i'm like i need to add that to my card it's so pretty and i cannot wait to use this like i said i've been super into makeup recently and just like genuinely putting more time and effort into doing my makeup so i can link everything that i got for you guys down below and i know sadly the sephora sale still won't be going on by the time you guys see this video which is why i posted everything on tiktok and on my instagram stories but regardless i'll still have all the links in the description obviously it's a lot later and excuse how crazy i look i currently have this face mask sitting on my skin right now and it's like in the middle of drying so i'm gonna leave it on for a few more minutes this is just the caudalie vinergetic c plus face mask i love this stuff it's like an instant detox facial for my skin and it's amazing. So I like to do face masks like two or three times throughout the week. I've had myself a very self-care rest of the evening. I just showered, self-tanned, and now I'm in my long sleeve pajamas, which is definitely not ideal to wear long pants and a long sleeve shirt to bed. But I would rather wear this than have my self-tan transfer onto my sheets because I literally just washed my bedding. But yeah, it felt good having a nice, solid self-care night. I also got back from a date tonight. That's where I was. We were playing pickleball. And it was so much fun. I'm also like very proud of myself because typically, like especially in the summertime, I'm very introverted and I just like my alone time, I tend to hunker down and like hibernate in the summer. And the winter is when I like come alive and I feel 
very social and I want to get out and do things and I've been saying yes to so many plans recently and just like genuinely enjoying quality time with my friends and like hanging out on a Sunday with my friends or going like to the beach with my friends on the weekends and using the weekends to um, spend quality time with my friends and just like the people I love and it has been something that like I genuinely look forward to because so many of my friends do work um, corporate jobs so I don't really get to see them through often throughout the week so it's nice to like really look forward to the weekend so that I can hang out with my friends and have that quality time and everything and I'm just proud of myself in general for like getting out there again and being social and saying yes to more plans and like opportunities and stuff and it's been great which definitely plays like a huge part into my winter arc is just like being the best version of myself and I really am that way when I am around my friends and when I am around people that bring out the best of me so I'm really proud of myself but anyways I'm gonna head to bed and read for a little bit but I just wanted to end off this video I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video bye